When you are ready to start your journey, touch the portal. Okay. Welcome to Wisdom. Let's check it out. Welcome to a journey that will explain what psilocybin and other classic psychedelics do to your brain. Take a deep breath. It's going to get wild. Cool. This is a neuron. You have 86 billion of these in your brain. On the neuron's dendrites, there are receptors that different molecules connect to. We have enlarged one of those receptors, called the serotonin 5-HT2A receptor. When molecules connect to receptors on the neuron, they either increase or decrease the chance and action potential will fire in that neuron, causing neurotransmitters to be released from the neuron's axon terminal. Look at your hand. You are holding the psilocybin molecule that is in magic truffles. Go on, try attaching the psilocybin to the receptor. Okay. When psilocybin molecules connect to serotonin 5-HT2A receptors, those neurons increase their chance of firing. But what does that mean for your whole brain? How does that influence our perception? Let's take a look at a neuroscience framework called predictive processing. According to this theory, the brain is a prediction machine. Your brain doesn't have direct access to the outside world, but it tries its best to guess what's going on out there by combining two sources of information. The first is whatever is coming from your senses right now. For instance, your eyes and ears. But that is very noisy information. So your brain combines that with whatever it has already learned. In cognitive neuroscience, these are called priors and biases. Can you activate the brain's feedback loop by stimulating the senses? Okay. Stimulate me, baby. I think we got it. Okay, cool. Perception is a creative process, like building a sandcastle. Imagine the sand is the information coming into your senses, and the buckets are your brain's priors. Try catching the sand. Okay. <laughs> Many of the 5-HT2A receptors are situated on the neurons that are calculating your priors, creating your buckets. When psilocybin connects to the receptors, these neurons become more likely to fire. Okay. Next. The usual buckets break into smaller, different shaped buckets. Your brain can break out of its usual pattern and perceive reality with more details. As you can see, this causes more unbucketed free sand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Next. When you take high doses of psychedelics, okay. this leads to effects like synesthesia, Whoa. where information from one sense escapes the smaller buckets and is caught by a bucket that is usually connected to another sense. Try playing the xylophone and see what happens to your visual perception. Here, we connected sounds to visuals and colors. Okay. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix, eat your heart out, man. Next. High doses of Whoa. psychedelics can even change your perception of your body. Go on, try dancing. The wisdom truffle might feel like an extension of yourself. 
The wisdom truffle. I am the wisdom truffle. When you microdose, you only take a small amount of psilocybin. That isn't strong enough to create these strong changes in perception. The idea is to slightly break down your usual buckets, to increase your creativity, and change your perspective to allow you to find new ways of self-improvement. Okay. I didn't get my dance. <laughs> Next. Medication prescribed for mental health might interact with psilocybin and cause harmful reactions. You should not mix any psychedelics while being on any medication without consulting a doctor. Plants that have substances that activate the 5-HT2A receptor have been used by different cultures for 10,000 years. There are cacti that produce mescaline and mushrooms and truffles that produce psilocybin. What we call magic truffles are actually sclerosia, a part of the fungus that helps it store food reserves. Try feeding the magic sclerosia to the wisdom truffle. Mm, no, no. Okay, man. And one for me. Cool. <laughs> Next. Interestingly enough, the same receptors that get activated in your brain also get activated in your stomach. Okay, cool. We still have a lot to learn, but current understanding is that you should microdose at most a few times a week. Remember, when you take large doses of psychedelics, the extra plastic state your brain is in is similar to the brain of a baby. Make sure that whoever you are with is safe for your inner baby, and that whatever you are doing has been researched by the scientific community. We'd love you to join our growing community and share what you learned from your journeys. By the way, if you want to save or share your truffle dance, you can send it to your email. Okay, cool. Thank you very much for watching. I didn't really get my truffle dance. We'll have to go again. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Next time, baby. Whoa.